Welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to submit a proposal for future observations in the proposal portal. Let's get going. First, open your preferred web browser and type in https colon double forward slash planning dot nmap dot org. Click on login and provide your credentials. Following the login, you will find yourself at the instrument planning portal homepage. If the selected user role does not fit your task at hand, please select the appropriate user role by clicking the blue role selection field on the top right corner. As we want to create and submit a new proposal in this video, we will be working with the proposal portal. Select the proposal portal by clicking on enter. In the proposal portal entry page, navigate to the user AO process section, which provides detailed information about the different AO processes you are assigned to. As a Cat1 user, we have assigned to certain AO processes during the user role assignment in the previous video. So, depending on your assignment, you will be able to choose one or multiple AO processes. Select the AO process that fits your proposal. After selecting an AO process, you will be directed to the respective AO process survey. Here, you will find detailed information on this AO process, as well as, when you scroll down, a complete proposal list. This proposal list contains all proposals that have been approved in this specific AO process. You can browse them to check if the other users are planning to work on similar topics or in similar areas. To create your own new proposal, click on Create Proposal. After selecting Create Proposal, the proposal form will open. Here, you are asked to provide background information on your planned project. The form is pretty straightforward. Required are a title, Try to provide a meaningful and concise title for your project. A topic. There are in total nine different topics users can choose from, namely vegetation, geosoil, water, snow ice, urban, atmosphere, hazard risk, methods, and calibration validation. Please select the topic that covers your proposal best. An expiration date. This date specifies the end date of the project and thus the latest date for observations needed for that user project. After that date, no new observation requests can be entered and also no observations can take place. Tick the box for Publication of Personal Data Agreed. By agreeing, you will make your personal data, such as name and institution, publicly visible to all registered users in the portal. Shortly describe your objectives, methodology, and the expected results. Under Project References, please detail specific requirements of your project, such as field campaigns, monitoring network measurements, temporal constraints, planned time series observations, or references to key publications that support your project. If you wonder where to add information on your observation sites, we'll get to this shortly. Confirm your information entry by clicking on Submit. Please note that after filling out the proposal form, you are asked to attach observations. Otherwise, the proposal submission is incomplete. To add observations to our proposal, scroll down the same page. Under Observations, select Add. A new window will open up. Here, you are asked to specify the observation information. Under Site Description, you can shortly describe your observation site in terms of location, for example, country, landscape, climate, and aerial extent. Information on the aerial extent is useful during the review process to grant the correct quota. The observation range indicates the start and end date of the planned observation range. Under Requested Tiles, we have to provide the number of tiles that are needed for our project, meaning the overall number of tiles to cover our observation site or all observation sites and for all times of observation. Just some additional words about the number of tiles that you request. One tile has a size of 30 by 30 kilometers, meaning if the spatial extent of your observation site or the spatial distribution of multiple sites exceeds 30 by 30 kilometers, you will need an according number of tiles per data take. As an example, if an observation site has a spatial extent of approximately 10 by 10 kilometers and we want to cover it once per month for one year, we request 12 tiles. As a second example, if an observation site is larger and needs two tiles to be covered, 
we would again like to observe it every month for one year, we would ask for 24 tiles. If your project allows, several tiles along track are ideal from a mission perspective, meaning to place areas of interest in a long track direction to be covered in several tiles during one data take. For the specification of our area of interest, we have to provide the center coordinates. Those may either be entered directly via the coordinate fields, latitude and longitude, or via the map tool by clicking the button, pick on map. Please explain your plan time series observation scheme under time series description slash remarks. This information is useful for the review process so that the correct quota can be granted. After clicking submit, you will be informed about the next steps. Scroll up to the very top of the page. Once you have added the observation information to your proposal, the submit button in the upper bar is enabled. Remember to always cross-check and carefully review the information you entered before submitting. Once your proposal is submitted, it can't be changed or cancelled. When you are satisfied, you submit your proposal. The review process will be initialized. In any case, you will be informed about the proposal process via email. Congratulations on successfully submitting your first proposal!